Encyclopedia Brown Boy Detective, The Case of the Scattered Cards. At nine o'clock that night, Encyclopedia climbed into bed. He lay awake a long time. He thought over what his mother had said to him about being a detective when he grew up. In the morning, he made up his mind. He would go into the detective business and help people. He wouldn't wait until he grew up. It was summer and school was out. He could begin at once. Encyclopedia got out of bed and searched through his closet. He dug out a toy printing press, a Christmas gift from his Uncle Ben two years ago. As soon as Encyclopedia finished breakfast, he printed 50 handbills. When the ink was dry, he put the handbills in all the mailboxes in the neighborhood. Then he went home and asked his mother for a big piece of cardboard. She gave him a dress box from the Bonton store, which she had been saving. Encyclopedia borrowed the kitchen shears and cut out a square piece of cardboard. He took a black crayon and carefully lettered a sign. The handbills and the sign said, Brown Detective Agency, 13 Rover Avenue. Leroy Brown, President. No case too small, 25 cents per day, plus expenses. Encyclopedia nailed the sign on the door of the Brown's garage. The next morning, he sat in the garage, waiting for somebody with a problem to drop in. Nobody dropped in, only the rain. The roof of the garage had a hole in it. Rain fell all morning, all afternoon, and all the next day. Encyclopedia stared at the rain and felt lower than a submarine's bottom. He thought about taking down the sign and going to see what new teeth Charlie Stewart had added to his collection. Or maybe digging for worms with Billy and Jody Turner and fishing off the bridge at Mill Creek. Suddenly, a pair of rubbers and a raincoat appeared in the doorway. Inside them was a small boy. My name is Clarence Smith, said the boy. I need your help. No case is too small, said Encyclopedia. Is it kidnapping? No, said Clarence, backing away. Blackmail? No, no, said Clarence weakly. It's a tent. He placed a quarter on the gasoline can besides Encyclopedia. The tent is mine, but the tigers say it's theirs. You are having trouble with talking tigers? Encyclopedia asked. Oh no, replied Clarence. Tigers, that's the name of a boys club near the canal. The boys are plenty tough, all of them. But their leader, Bugs Meany, is the toughest one. Take me to their leader, commanded Encyclopedia, and to your tent. I'll do both, said Clarence. Bugs Meany is sitting in the tent this very minute. After a short walk, the two boys came to the tent. It stood in the woods between the canal and the Pierce junkyard. Six older boys were sitting around a wooden box inside the tent. They were playing cards. Which one of you is Bugs Meany? asked Encyclopedia. Me, said the biggest boy. What's it to you? You are in my tent, squeaked Clarence. I found it. I mended all the holes in it. Scram growled Bugs. You know I found the tent in the junkyard, said Clarence. You watched me put it up here last week. Get going, said Bugs. I saw you steal it from our clubhouse this morning. Mind if I come in out of the rain? Encyclopedia asked. 
As he ducked inside the tent, one of his feet hit an extra pack of cards lying beside the wooden box. The cards were scattered over the ground. Hey, what's the big idea, said Bugs. The idea is a simple one, said the private detective. See these cards? They are dry and not the least bit muddy, though I scattered them over the ground. Clarence didn't steal this tent from your clubhouse. Bugs closed his hands into fists. His chin sprang out like the draw of a cash register. Are you calling me a liar? not said encyclopedia I'm simply going to tell you what I'll tell the police encyclopedia spoke quietly into the older boy's right ear bugs listened his face grew red and then redder suddenly he called come on tigers let's get back to the clubhouse it's no fun here when the tigers had left, Clarence said to Encyclopedia, Gosh, what did you say to Bugs? Encyclopedia smiled. I pointed out why you couldn't have stolen the tent from the tigers clubhouse. How did Encyclopedia know this? Bugs Meany said that Clarence had stolen the tent from the Tigers Clubhouse this morning, that is, on the second day of the rain. Therefore, the ground under the tent should have been wet. But when Encyclopedia scattered the cards with his foot, he discovered that the ground inside the tent was dry. This proved that the tent had been put up before the rain, as Clarence claimed, and not during the rain this morning, as Bugs said. The end. Good night, Sophie. Good night, Sammy.